Hey, it's me. Hey. Yeah, I just finished putting the kid to bed for the night. Aren't you afraid of babysitting alone in that house? No, it's not like it's haunted or cursed or something. Alright, well, stay safe, or else the aliens will get you. Good one. I'll text you later, alright? Bye bye. See ya. Cliffhanger. How does it end? That's a great question that I'll answer in just a minute. Good morning, Mundelein High School. I'm Leandro Campo. And I'm Quinn Maggio, coming to you from the Media Class TV studio. Welcome to today's Friday Focus for Friday, February 23rd, 2024. You might be wondering how the short film from our opening ends. Well, we didn't have enough time to show the whole film, but if you want to see how the film ends, come to Film Club, which has its first meeting for 2024 on Thursday, February 29th at 3.30 in room A213 in the back of the Media Center. Come to critique, come to create, come to eat. No experience is necessary. See your email, Mr. Meister, if you have any questions. Do you like free food? A couple days ago was another free lunch Wednesday. Maybe you're a regular each month, maybe you've never been. But Julia Song put together this story to highlight what the event is all about. I come to free lunch because it promotes the community. I like being here because it encourages generosity. I come to free lunch to learn about the events that are happening in the community. Been doing it a lot of years. We just love coming together, offering you guys a great lunch good fellowship, hanging out with us. We love spreading the love of Jesus to our neighbors. So this is a joy for us every month to just serve lunch to these high school students. Anytime they would need prayer or want to talk to the pastor, any one of us, we're available here. I think that life is best meant lived in community. And so Free Lunch Wednesday is an amazing opportunity to get to do that. Absolutely love it. The kids are phenomenal and um, I look forward to every month. Thank you, Julia, for that story. The Mundelein Jazz Ensemble has had a very busy calendar this year. They had just performed in Aurora with New York trumpeter Kellen Hannes. The students have also performed at Chicago Jazz Showcase this fall and received top honors at the Purdue Jazz Festival as top scoring high school group out of nearly 100 performing jazz ensembles. In addition, the Mundelein Jazz Ensemble was selected as one of only three high school jazz bands to perform at the Illinois Music Education Conference. Let's more, learn more about the preparation for that unique performance. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. Hi, I'm Mr. Sturgeon. I'm a band teacher here at Mundelein High School, and I get to work with the Honors Jazz Ensemble. Last spring, we submitted for an opportunity to play at the Illinois Music Education Conference. Our jazz ensemble was accepted to perform in Peoria at the Allstate Festival. So we did a joint concert with John Hersey High School's Jazz Ensemble, and we got to play for a bunch of like music teachers throughout the whole state, and it was a super cool experience. I really uh, love waking up every morning and getting the opportunity to play with you know, all my friends, make some really fun and cool music together. I really enjoy like the sense of community that we have. It's really awesome to get to know all these great people. Like seeing everybody just playing music together and just supporting one another. It wasn't a competition, which was just so cool. The Mundelein High School Jazz Ensemble will now be preparing for a performance on March 9th at the 57th Annual Mundelein Jazz Invitational. Congratulations on so many great performances. You should check them out if you haven't seen them already. Are you interested in working on sets, lights, props, costumes, makeup, or sound for the upcoming spring musical, Guys and Dolls? It's not too late to sign up. The form to sign up is located in the information packet. To find the packet, you can go to www.mundeleintheater.org. 
or find the QR code located on the posters throughout the school. The deadline to sign up is today, but if you have any questions, see Mr. Meyer in A106. Let the city lights guide you to the best night at Turnabout on March 2nd from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets are now on sale on RevTrack. Cash tickets will also be sold during lunch periods on Tuesday, February 27th and Thursday, February 29th. Tickets will not be sold at the door. Snacks will be sold at the dance for up to $2, so be sure to bring some cash. Also, don't miss your chance to sweep that special someone off their feet with the perfect turnabout proposal. This year we're having a competition for the most creative invitation. Winners will receive free tickets to the turnabout dance. So, go ahead and get your tickets online today and start planning your unforgettable proposal. Turnabout 2024 is sure to be a night to remember. Finally, girls lacrosse tryouts are on Monday, February 26th at 3.30 to 5 p.m. and Tuesday, February 27th at 7 to 8.30 p.m. Girls trying out need to have a current physical on file and attend both days. Bring your stick, goggles, mouth guard, and water bottle. Is this your stomach growling? No. Well, like, I'm, I'm hungry, but, like, I, w I, w I would like some China core right now, but, like, it's closed, you know? No, it's not. They reopened, but they're called John Ho now. Oh. Huh. It's next to the Burger King by the Goodwill. Well, that is all of this edition of the Friday Focus. We will see you all next week. I am Quinn. And I am Leandro. Have a good weekend, everyone.